So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. Hey everybody, Dan Latto speaking, so I hope you're well today. So let's talk about stress for a moment. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're self-employed, if you're running your own business, and heck, even if you're an employee, we all have different stress levels, and also we all have different levels of stress levels that we're able to cope with. Going back 15 years ago, 10 years ago, I was able to take on a lot of stress and I could handle it like a boss. And these days I find myself unable to handle as much stress. And I don't know if it's a case of being unable to handle it or I just don't really want to have to handle it. Why do I, why do I want to handle stress? What, why, how about I just avoid stress entirely? And actually, that's how I pretty much run my life right now. Let me give you an example. So we've got a, a problem in one of my properties right now. It's a little studio apartment in Leeds, and there's a leak under the shower that's then leaked into next doors, and it's ruined their floor. It's gone over a period of time. Nobody knew about it, uh, but I'm liable for their floor. And it's like, okay, so they're going out. They're going to buy the new floor. I've got my guy that's going to go fit it. I know that they're going to take the mick on the floor. I know we're going to go for the most expensive floor. And I, you know what? I could argue the point, but let's say it's 150 quid for the new floor and they spend 225 pounds. Like I could get quite upset about that. And 10, 15 years ago, I'd be all aggressive and uh, <laughs> for why I shouldn't be buying them a new floor. But actually, what's the point? I need to get them a new floor. It's my fault. The leak came from my flat. It's called Proximate Cause. The, the thing that's liable is the thing that created it in the first place, which is my shower tray. It upsets me that I have to pay them a new floor, but it's my fault. So I have to take it on the chin. I have to take it uh, and pay for it, okay? And if they're going to take the Michael out of, try not to swear, if they're going to take the mic and and spend, you know, £225 on new wooden flooring when it should be 150 quid, do you know what? It's 75 quid. Now, I've got a choice there. I can argue this £75, oh, you've, you've, you're having a laugh and you're taking advantage and all this extra stuff, and it can go on for weeks and I can get really stressed out about it. Or I can go, do you know what? That's 75 quid. Let's just do it. Thank you very much. Part as friends. Not a problem. Good luck to you. Uh, That's what we've done. Why would I want to be around stress? Why would I want to continue stress when I can just pay something and move on? I've got another example. We had one with a bond. The tenant went back to Kuwait. They left the place an absolute stinker of a mess. Okay. Uh, We had um, about £1,200 bond. I'm going to sneeze. It's not what you want to do on video, is it? We had about £1,200 worth of bond available. Uh, and they were arguing like cat and dog. It was like that when we moved in and we sent them pictures. Um, and the table was damaged. It was like that when we moved in and it wasn't. And then the carpet's moth-eaten. Literally, it's moth-eaten. And so we're charging them for replacement carpet because it was almost new carpet when they moved in. They've been in three or four years. Uh, all its wear and tear and all this extra stuff as to why they shouldn't. And in the end, we took a proportion. We didn't take all the bond, obviously, because it wasn't worth all the bond anyway. It was probably worth about 800 quid uh, in, in repairs. But we didn't take that. I honestly couldn't be bothered arguing. So we took 500 pounds. And they agreed and we agreed. We shook hands and we left. Everything's happy. And actually, as soon as we agreed that, I paid them the bond back. And we always hate paying bonds back like all landlords do because <laughs> we want that money. Uh, but we paid it back. And all, honestly, that all stress it just lifted off my shoulders. We got rid of it. And you know when people go, money doesn't make you happy? Oh, it does. It definitely has the opportunity to, okay? Oh, it can definitely help us avoid stress. You know, a couple of hundred quid extra for us and versus that stress, it's just not worth it for us. So here you go, simply not worth it. And so we move ourselves away from stress. And the example that I use is it's like the person at the party who's standing next to the speaker where the music's playing out and then they're complaining about how loud the music is when the speaker is right next to their ear. And it's like, well, why don't you just move away and from the speaker? And they say, well, why should I? I shouldn't have to. It shouldn't be that loud. It's like, it's just stupid. Why are you doing that? So just move away from stress. I know that's easier said than, than done sometimes, but move away from the stress where possible or find ways to reduce that stress. I find that you can only take so much stress and then it kind of go, it overflows, doesn't it? It goes over the top and then you explode in a fit of... Uh, and it's just not conducive for anyone, not conducive for the people around you, not conducive for people you work with, and it's definitely not conducive for your own mental health. So why not just try where you can to avoid getting into these things? And you could say, like with the bond example, but Dan, that's your money. And it is. But I don't care anymore. What I care more about is keeping my mental state in a permanent position of, ah, isn't life nice? And life's not like that. It's not 
level all the time. You have stress and you have times of bliss, okay? Well, it should be this way, shouldn't it? You have times of bliss where everything's great and you've got times of stress. And my job is to remove the stress. So I have times of lower stress and times of bliss. And I, I move between those two levels rather than times of bliss and times of absolute stress. That's a big thing to gap and it's not healthy for you at all. So that's a little bit of an insight into what we do. We'd rather chuck money at a problem and move away from the problem if that's possible. Or we try and make friends with people to avoid the problem becoming a problem in the first place. Being nice gets you a lot further than being aggressive uh, and being angry. Uh, but just a bit of an insight into what we do with stress and I hope that's useful for you. Uh, my name's Dan Latto. We'll catch up with you on the next video. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.